Listen up, you all. Let me take you for a ride back in time where the roots of math reside. It started all with Newton, Leibniz on the scene, cracking codes of calculus, fulfilling a dream. They laid the foundation, set the stage for a math revolution, turning the page from slope to integral. They paved the way for a tool so powerful it shines today. It is calculus of course, the heart of math, vital of course for the simplest of tasks in physics and engineering, economics as well. You use it everywhere, the discoverers dwell. So, let's take a look around. Tell me what do you see? A bunch of objects of course, from birds to trees. Now, if we look closer, we see that they are moving, flying and growing, spinning and diffusing. So, how do you capture these types of change? With calculus of course, it's in our range. Now, let's begin with differentiation, moving later of course, to integration. But, let's start with the slope of a curve. What derivatives about? The purpose they serve. Let's look at this graph, with peaks and valleys. The bird's velocity, its soars and alleys. Let's say that we want the slope at a point. We connect a line, with no disjoint. Let's now move, the points together. Take a limit of course, the bird has feathers. We get the derivative at just this moment. This is acceleration, a fourth component. Now it's integrals turn. We return to the graph, calculating the area, so it fills this gap. We do this by adding small rectangles with a constant width. Newton in shambles. We make these smaller. A limit is obtained. That's the integral of course. In essence explained. This gives the distance. Traveled by the bird that was calculus described so long. You know. 